So you might have seen this, um, a number with this special sign after it. It's a percentage. Um, so what exactly is it? So for instance here, we've got 50%. That's how this reads. But what does that actually mean? Well, a percentage is just um, a number that is a certain number of hundredths or something. So that 50% meant that it's 50 hundredths of something. Remember when I'm saying a hundredth, this relates back to our fractions where it's splitting something up into a hundred equal parts and one of those parts would be a, a hundredth. So in other words, with that 50%, if I split something into a hundred equal parts, took 50 of those parts, I would have 50%. So 50% is the same as 50 hundredths. 50 over 100. What's even the point in doing this? Why not put it down as um, hundredths? Well, it allows us to compare how much we've got of different objects. More than that, different objects that are different sizes. So for instance, I might have two fifths of something and four sevenths of another thing and it's kind of difficult to compare them I have to do mathematical con uh, conversions to change them whereas if I know that something is 20% and the other one is 30% I can easily s compare them and say well the 20% is smaller than 30% because simply 20 is smaller than 30. Also when I've got um, different sized things so maybe I'm looking at the test results in two classes and one class is uh, has got 30 pupils and the other one has got five when I'm given percentages it'll allow me to compare the portions without taking the size of the classroom into account so if I have 50% uh, uh, a pass rate in both the classes I know that uh, two and a half of the students in one class passed and 15 in the other passed. So the results or the proportion of students in each class is the same, even though the size and the number of students who passed or failed is different. So I can see that I might det determine, uh, interpret that as both of the teachers did well, even though in one only two and a half passed and then the other one 15 passed because they still got half of their class to pass they still got 50 percent of their class to pass it so that's where we get, that's roughly why we use percentages don't worry too much about that but in case you're asking yourself well what's the point in knowing them those are the points because it compares portions of objects that are different sizes very easily so forgetting all that, how do we actually calculate a percentage? Well, for instance, I might want to know what 50% of 2,000 is. Perhaps I've got 2,000 people at a concert and I want to know what 50% of those is. Uh, perhaps I've been told that 50% of them bought the um, uh, seat one best seat tickets whilst 50% bought the second best seat tickets. How many of them? bought the best how many of them bought the second best I need to calculate what 50% of those 2000 is so what you do is you divide the number by 100 not the percentage but the number so in this case 2000 divided by 100 and all we've got to do there is move the decimal place twice now remember the decimal place will be invisible if there's nothing beyond the decimal place if there's nothing to the right of it so you'll need to put that decimal place in in your mind and then simply move it one decimal one place two places and there you've got your answer 2000 divided by 100 is 20 okay so what do we do with the 20 well the next thing I'm going to do is multiply the number by the percentage so 20 times 50 if I do that calculation I'll get the answer of a thousand and that's my answer I know now that 50% of 2000 is a thousand so there that's what a percentage is um, what it represents 
and how we can calculate the percentage of a certain number.